Okay, well, as you can tell by the thumbnail that's on the front of this video, that there was a little bit of rust on it, but after we cut it away, it's like Swiss cheese, and the metal really gets soft underneath, so you got to cut all that soft stuff out. Um, the purpose of this video is to show you how to fix these instead of having to rip them all the way out. And if any type of glazers out there are watching this, this is my technique. If you have a better one, then by all means, share it. Um, small hole down here. It's right there. Small hole. Not a big deal. Just some ru surface rust around here. But this is going to be rebuilt. So I'll show you my technique as we go. Okay, guys. <clears throat> what we've done here is a little technique that I use. I use the Bondo glass. It has the cat hairs in it. The little fiberglass hairs. Some people call it cat hairs. Uh, but it's a fiberglass Bondo. It's very strong. I've done this for many years and I've never had any issues with it. But on these big gaps, you have nothing behind to hold to fill a hole. It's just a hole. It's just, just straight through. So what we do is we cut a piece of cardboard that will fit right in here and put a screw in it. So you can hold it when you're putting the Bondo on. And you hold it for a couple minutes until it starts to set up. And when it does, then right here, this one's already set up. You just saw the hole a little bit. till the screw is nice and loose, you push it right through. falls to the floor. Now we're going to go back and we're going to skim this with the rest of the Bondo. So now we have Bondo on the back side because you squat, you're, what you're doing is you're taking your Bondo and then you're holding the screw and then you're pushing it in behind. So you're squeezing, you're squeezing a big amount behind it. So when you get it behind there, it's going to stick. Now we did clean and treat this metal with a, a rust remover. It kills the rust. And then uh, we cleaned up as much of it around the edges as we could. So we have something clean to stick to. Um, but this Bondo, it would, even if it was rusty behind it, the way we're going to do this is it's not going to matter because we're going to have Bondo behind the wall. We're going to skim it over the top. So now imagine this is Bondo and you have Bondo on the back and it's going to fill all this Bondo right here. You're going to have Bondo that's going to be squidging. It's going to be sandwiching the wall. So you won't be able to punch this out. Um, we're going to use a different Dyna glass for the front of this to because it's smoother. It does not have the cat hair or the fiberglass red, little fibers in it. So it'll sand out really smooth. And that stuff is really, really hard. If anybody's ever used it, you know what I'm talking about. And then this up here, we have, we have something like an insulation back here. It's a little bit of a backer. So I'm going to fill this up a little bit to where I have something to put my Bondo in. I'm not really going to have to worry too much about a piece of cardboard as of yet. I don't know yet. Um, but getting a piece of cardboard to go in there and sandwich behind that. Pulling the screw out like I'm going to do right here. So if you'll just give me one second, I'll mix up some Bondo. Let me show you how this works. I know, I know. Don't do it the way I'm doing it. You're going to get air bubbles, but you know what? This is the base coat. It does not matter. So I'm going to flip it. I'm going to twist it. I'm going to turn it any way I can. I'm going to fold it. Now, what you want to do, first off, I'm going to use some of this excess and not let it harden up on me. I'm going to go ahead and just fill my void here. Come on. And it ain't got to be pretty because you're going to do a lot of sanding. Just want to fill all that up. 
I don't care if I put it on real heavy. I'm just gonna I'm gonna shape it and form it the way I want. Now for this, get this right here. You're going to take your screw and you're going to hold it. You're going to give it a little bit of play so you can get some Bondo underneath it. And you're just going to squeeze it up underneath. Squeeze it underneath. A lot of it's going underneath, the cardboard's holding it in place. Keep turning that so it doesn't get bundled on it and harden up. Now at this point, it's got enough on there and it's starting to thicken up. I can just let go of it. What we'll do is we'll let that harden up and we'll sand some of the excess off so we can see where our low spots are. We don't want to just keep piling it on. And once we're done with that, we'll add a little bit more here and there. And then we'll smooth it out and we'll show you that next step next, right after this. All right, you just saw me put the, egg, the, the cardboard in the back with the screw and I went ahead and did the cardboard up here as well. I just didn't want a big huge glob back there and I wanted to really stick to the back of the tub here. So after we did this, I went ahead and sanded down my first layer. Now you can see where the, see how dark it is right there? That's where the hole was. So this is actually tub underneath here. So this is where it's lighter. So you can start to see where my uh, the tub part is. So now that I've got this, I'm leaving a little bit here because I'm going to actually smooth this out even more and fine tune it and get my shape. And of course, it'll still look like a big brown spot, but as soon as we're done, we're going to clean the tub and, and then paint it. So this is the first rough cut, and it's actually pretty good. A little, little heavy right here, but I'll, I will get that. But I just wanted to give you an update and show you what's going on. The next coat's gonna go over and fill the rest of this in. I'm gonna use a white filler bondo that we have here. It's more uh, more dense. It's a really dense uh, waterproof. And I may skim the whole thing with the waterproof afterwards just to give that extra protection as far as uh, the water. Um, it's a polyfill. So here we are right now um, until, until left the next step. Okay. What I've done after I sanded out the brown prime, the, the fiberglass bondo with uh, the fiberglass hairs in it, um, I sanded it down, got a pretty smooth. And then I went back to fill all my low spots with this. It's extremely hard. I have two coats on here. Um, with this stuff, you will get little tiny bubbles in your mix because it's pretty dry right now it's it's drying up a little bit but it's not it's not going anywhere and now that i have bondo on the back side and bondo on this side it is pretty smooth now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back with uh my white cream bondo and fill those little tiny pinholes and then hit it with some 220, make it even smoother, and feather my edges out even more. And uh, 
then I'll show you that and then I'll show you after we've painted the whole tub okay <clears throat> I put my white polyfill on and smoothed it out down to 220 and it's pretty it's pretty slick now one thing about this is that they were having some leaking problems and the way I resolved this was is I put my fiberglass bondo in here all the way up against that that drain now if they ever tried to pull it out they can pull it out from the back side it'll come like loose because it's that plastic it will come loose of that very minimal effort um, but it's only right over the edge so no more water can drip through here and then drip down the side of the tub which caused all that rust and a lot of times when it's that bad it's because they have the overflow upside down and water drip and run down inside and then it would just there was a, a gap in here which allowed water to run out down the side of the tub and then of course the rust just started to grow so that's that and um, I'll show you what it looks like whenever it's sprayed guys this is the finished product you cannot see anything If you guys are interested in my technique or anything that I have, any questions for me whatsoever, just send me uh, a message on YouTube on this video. I'll get right back to you. If you have a better way, I'd love to share it. Um, anything I can do to help out, I'll be more than happy to. Uh, this video is also in my classic truck addictions video uh, YouTube page where I'm building a truck using all my tub products. So if you guys want to follow me, just uh, hit the subscribe button, little bell notification, and I'll be back with you as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Okay, silicone buffed. We did a wet sand and buff on it. It is shiny.